Well, hey guys, we are on a road trip and uh, I'm really excited about this one. Um, we're heading out to Manatee Springs to do a combined e-bike paddle and review of their new glamping site out at Manatee Springs State Park. And uh, we're about halfway there, I guess you could say. And uh, we got fog rolling in here, so that could be kind of fun. But anyway, uh, we're having a lot of fun as usual. And we're going to look forward to this. We're going to ride all the trails probably today. Uh, we're definitely going to paddle in the morning. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. So, hey, we'll see you a little bit later. Welcome to Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. D. Hey, today I'm on a road trip, guys, and I am out here at Manatee Springs State Park. And not just for paddling, but for e-biking, paddling, and why I've come out here was to show the brand new glamping sites. Uh, you're going to see lots of pictures of these outstanding tent setups here, and they are fully furnished. It's got a queen size bed in there now we're not talking air mattress we're talking a bed bed uh really cool stuff and now they've put in five of these in here uh and i'm really excited for arden and her p3 team uh, i think it's really going to be excellent all right guys so let's walk in here and see what we got you got a queen size bed in here. Now this is a mattress guy. This is not an air mattress. This is a regular inner spring mattress. You've got a, a box here for storage. You can put your stuff in here while you're at your stay. Really nicely done, all padded. Over here on this side, guys, you've got your coffee pot and this is a uh, K-cup type coffee pot. And I'll get this, air conditioning. You got air conditioning in this thing. Who air conditions their tent? Well. The people at P3 do. Come over here, guys. You've got your two end tables. These are all functional end tables with drawers. You can see here to put your stuff in. Nice side table lights. One of the really cool features I like is the technical stuff because you guys got all your charging equipment, phones, all that stuff. You see the cords right here? Now look at this power strip back here. That thing will give you everything you need to plug in what you need to plug in. But you can see here, they've got them already set up. You can just set your uh, particular item on there and, and you're good to go. And also guys, you've got your other side table right here with the same features. The drawers open up and the little plug system right here. Now if you take a look, you can see the decor and attention to detail that they've done in these glamping tents. Really an excellent job. They also give you a couple of courtesy towels here along, and that's in this nice little rack. And then over here, a sitting area where you can sit down, uh, change your clothes, do whatever. Fully zippered mosquito netting right here, guys, uh, which is really, really cool. And then the full button up sides, as you can see here which clip, zip and clip, uh, they clip together when you leave and then zip down when you're inside for the night. Really cool. Over here you got a full wooden deck to the opening of your glamping tent. So anyway guys, let's go to the outside and see what we got up here. Now you can see they put in uh, nice little boundary fencing posts and stuff like that in here. You can see all the exterior lighting you have in here, inside and outside. Now the cool thing is, these are all remote control lights. The interior lights and the exterior lights are all remote controlled. Here's the back of the tent unit. Now you can unzip these windows back here and get some nice airflow. Here is your fire pit and barbecue setup with a nice picnic table right here. Now this is a 10 by 12 unit, is what the size is. 
And as you can see, they really did a very, very nice job putting this thing together. Now, they have the uh, mosquito netting right here. Just pull this down. It's got a nice little stop there for stopping varmints from coming in. Now, zip the main fly down. You just unhook it with these buckles. Also has a zipper. For nice security. And when you're away from your campsite, guys, you can go ahead and clip it all in. Very nicely done. Like that. That'll give you an idea of what the glamping tents look like. They are excellent. Hi guys, we are out on the North Trail right now. And uh, what's so exciting about this particular event, guys, this is the first time I've been able to combine both e-biking and paddling in the same event. And at the same time, I'm able to review uh, P3's new glamping tents. So this is really cool. So I'm out just doing this trail right now. Uh, I have no idea where it goes. I do have a map in the back in case I get turned around, but uh, I don't think I will. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Uh, it's going to be actually uh, spread out over a couple days. And uh, tomorrow we'll be on the water going out on Manatee Springs. Hopefully we'll see some manatee out there. I don't know, but we'll see. So, hey, we'll be back in a bit. Good morning, everybody. We are out here at Manatee Springs, and there are manatee in the water. Uh, 
They said they're right here somewhere. I've got my underwater camera ready if I see them. I don't know if I will or I won't. Uh, but that's what we're going to do this morning. What a beautiful morning today. It's nice and cool. It's not hot. Um, I am trying a little something different today. I actually kept my uh, cart, my wheel cart, because the launch over here at Manatee Springs is a long walk to get to your, uh, get to the launch. So you must have a cart. It's, it's an absolute must. But with that new rigging that they put up on the um, new Airvolution Sport with the double clips, uh, I'll tell you what, I clipped it up front, wrapped it over the top, and it just really, really worked out fine. I'm going to show you the rigging here. I'm going to turn the camera around. Now, there's the rigging set up. I've set up on the, the boat itself, as you can see. And all I did was unclip those two new clips, draped up over the frame of my cart, and then clipped it back into that new center D-ring down there. Really, really cool. Anyway, guys, uh, and I'm talking real quiet today and there's a reason the serenity here is, is just off the chain I want to talk a little bit about the uh, p3 manatee fanning organization and what they're doing with their new glamp sites uh, those things are I mean amazing I spent the night in one last night uh, it was comfortable I had my morning coffee uh, right there it's no problem they have a k-cup coffee maker in there the p3 team and Arden has done a really really great job now they're really nice they are uh, 10 by 12 uh, really well made canvas tents we're talking about a, a, a real mattress not an air mattress and it was comfortable I slept like a stone uh, which was great so anyway uh, my thanks to Arden for inviting me up here to check that thing out it was uh, it was fun I had a good time so anyway we're gonna uh, continue our recording we're up by buzzard tree and this tree is full of buzzards. I, I got to have you guys see this. So we'll be back in a bit. Well, I've never seen a swanee this flat. Wow, buzzard tree is full of buzzards this morning. It's beautiful up here on a swanee today. Serious over here. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, what I did, guys, <laughs> I just had to say I did it. Uh, I've gone to the other side of the Swanee River. Um, I wanted to. I have never been able to cross over the Swanee because of currents and conditions. Now I can see why the current here is moving a lot faster than on the other side. I don't know why. I mean, this is thing is pushing me. I'm, I'm not paddling and I just had to turn my entire craft around. Kind of crazy, huh? What we're gonna do is float down a while and uh, see, see what's going on. But I don't wanna get too far because I don't wanna have to paddle all the way upstream again. That's some crazy stuff. But I did want to uh, go ahead and uh, paddle to the other side of the Swanee and see what's over here. So anyway, hey, we'll be back in a bit. Holy crap. I must have woke them up or something. Jeez. I mean, there's hundreds of buzzards here or whatever they're called. Now, this section of the river is just where this peels in. If you see off the nose camera here.
You got a leader. Yeah. Leading you out. <laughs> yeah. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. Well guys, we are wrapping it up out here at Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed the videos today and we were able to get some manatee shots. Now I don't know how the underwater footage is going to be. Uh, I'm going to have to find that out in post-production and you'll see it when I see it. It should be a lot of fun. Um, again, my thanks to uh, Arden and uh, P3 Manatee Fanning for uh, taking care of me up here. They really did a, an outstanding job. And we did get some great times in. We did all the uh, riding trails on the e-bike yesterday. And then we stayed in that fabulous glamping tent. That was really awesome. And then this morning, out to do some uh, kayaking, got up on the Swanee a little bit. We did see some manatee. Uh, like I said, uh, hopefully I got some footage of that. And uh, we're gonna find that out here in a little while. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, we'll see you on the next one.